Hey guys, this is Eric from Farpoint Farms. I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, my newest tractor. And this tractor was kind of an accident. Um, as some of you know, I've been looking for a new, just regular riding mower for the property. I have about six acres that I cut. And, uh, and I was thinking about maybe upgrading to a garden tractor, but a used garden tractor to do that as well. You know, I've got my Husqvarna garden tractor that I use for gardening and uh, driveway maintenance, stuff like that. And I figured, you know, maybe I'll try to find an older one with a manual transmission and I can do my mowing with that. It might stand up a little better than, uh, than the uh, LT, or I'm sorry, YT3000 Craftsman that I have. Um, so, I answered an ad on Craigslist for a $500 Craftsman GT 20 horsepower. And uh, it said, uh, like pretty much all of these ads, it said, needs a battery and a carburetor cleaning. And it was a 50 inch cut, was what it was advertised as. So, unfortunately it was like a two hour drive, but I drove down there on my day off, and lo and behold, this is what I found. And it was not worth $500. It wasn't worth $250. In fact, I paid $40 for it. Um, I arrived looking for a tractor that I could use to mow my lawn. And I went home with a tractor that I think I'm going to use for some of the dirty work around my property. Uh, it didn't run. It was very rusted up. The starter was stuck. Seats torn. And the deck, which I'll show you here in a minute, is toast. And that's why it was useless for my purposes. Um, every idler, every bearing, every pulley, the belt, everything was destroyed. I mean, it was just wore out, rusted up solid cost probably two three hundred dollars to replace all that stuff so I told the guy thank you but no thank you and I was getting ready to get back in my truck and he said well what would you give me for it and I thought about it for a few minutes looked the tractor over and noticed that it did have this sleeve hitch on it which is a nice feature and that it was an older garden tractor it has a Kohler uh, 20 horsepower opposed engine twin cylinder really nice and that underneath all that crud, there might be some potential here. Still, I didn't want to pay 500, I didn't want to pay 250, so I didn't think he was going to like my offer, but I went ahead and made it anyway. And that was to offer him 40 bucks. And wouldn't you know it, he said, get it off my property. So uh, I dragged it home, washed it off, and I've had a little bit of opportunity to play with it today. I went ahead and took the deck off of it so I could get up underneath. And uh, you know what? It's you know it's old. It's a 93 model, I think. But not bad. Let me take a closer look here. And I didn't make a video of this. I probably should have. But uh, there's the motor. And uh, it's been adapted to take a full-size battery. Which is kind of funny. It's got a Hyundai battery in it. But it works now. That's all I had laying around. So the motor, uh, I didn't clean the carburetor. I did empty the gas that was in it out of it and put some fresh gas in there. Like I said, when I tried to turn the vehicle over, the starter was locked up. So I went ahead and removed the starter and I uh, was able to take it apart, which is, was a real pain, and clean all the rust off of it and spray and lubricate everything, free it up, reinstall it, and lo and behold, it spins over beautifully now. And uh, went on some fresh gas in there and a fresh filter. Wouldn't you know it, it fires up and runs. And it moves through all of the six gears. Now this does have the Peerless Super Heavy Duty transmission. Three high and three low. Um, that's the shift pattern there. And it has the high-low range over here. This lever here controls high and low range. In low range, even in uh, third speed, uh, man, it barely crawls. It's like first first gear in, in most tractors, so definitely pulling. Um, now, as you can see, there's some there's some rust here. It looks like maybe a battery failed at some point and came down there and ruined the paint. But the lever, this lever here, right? It controls the mower deck, but on these older tractors, it also controls the sleeve hitch, which is really nice. Kind of convenient not having to reach over the armrest here and, and do that. So. Um, nice Kohler Magnum opposed twin. Let's see if I can get the 
uh, MV20S. It takes four quarts of oil. Amazing. Got a nice spin-on filter. Of course, I'll be replacing the filter. I'll be replacing the oil, air filter, spark plugs. Just a general tune-up. So, the only other issue it has that I'll have to fix, the steering has got quite a bit of play in it. There's a bushing down lower that goes bad, a center bushing. It's not the actual gear, so that's a good thing. Just replace the bushing and tighten that up. Headlights work. Sleeve hitch works. Of course, I'm going to have to get ag tires or I will soon be dead riding on my property. And instead of getting wheel weights like the Husqvarna or the other Craftsman, I think I'm going to fill these with uh, rim guard or... Uh, Maybe washer fluid, whatever. Whatever it comes out to be the cheapest. I don't want to put a whole lot of money into this. I'd like to spend a little less than 250 to get it all finished, and I think it's definitely doable. Um, the seat's pretty well tore up. I'm going to see if I can fit another seat on there. So, but that's it. It's in great shape, considering that it was a $40 tractor and I was able to get it running in less than a day. I kind of wish I had uh, taken a video of fixing that starter but it was kind of a calamity of errors. I had that starter assembled and disassembled <laughs> quite a few times. So uh, I'll fire it up and show it running. Let me also get a shot. I'll flip the seat up here show you the serial number 9172502262 and it looks like it was made in October of 94 so not that old anyway this is Eric owner of Farpoint Farms I hope you enjoyed this short video of my unexpected workhorse if I can get this working well enough I may uh, take the Husqvarna garden tractor and actually make it my mower it's got that prefab deck on it that's uh, one of the best in the industry so we'll see how it turns out like I said it's inexpensive so it's something to play with something to use probably won't do any snow plowing this winter because it doesn't have a locking diff but as far as doing garden work I don't see why it can't probably gonna put the front scoop on this one you know he's got a different brackets uh, for the plow blade or the front scoop so I hate having to switch that back and forth on the Husqvarna so if I uh, hook it onto this one this one can be a dedicated, uh, dedicated to using that scoop, and uh, the Husqvarna can keep the snow blade on it for uh, wintertime snow plowing. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe, and uh, you'll see many more like it because spring is coming.